hello guys in this video tutorial we'll be talking about the green bacteria and the light reaction of green bacteria now uh, like the purple bacteria and uh, also some plants and algae or cyanobacteria uh, we are having uh, the photosystem uh, present in this green bacteria too now remember one thing this is a bacteria though it's green but still it's a bacteria it contains the bacteria chlorophyll and bacteria phytin. that's why it is uh, green in color but ultimately this is a bacteria this is not uh, a plant anyways now here uh, we have seen we can see this uh, photosystem which is present or embedded in the cell membrane of this bacteria it is deno denoted with p840 now we, ca we, ca we have seen in case of uh, the purple bacteria it was p870 now these are the different types of photosystem named in different uh, types uh, or different uh, different naming or nomenclature is there but the basic idea of transferring the electron from one uh, electron carrier to another electron carrier is basically remains the same so uh, if you know uh, the electron flow for the purple bacteria or the light reaction for the purple bacteria then you can easily know the light reaction for green bacteria so I recommend you to go back and see uh, the video of my uh, lecture to, to about the purple bacteria light reaction and then came back and uh, then come back and see it okay now uh, so let's start so light quanta is there it will excite this p840 it's a uh, antenna pigment so it they can uh, change their conformation and they can shift the electrons from its lower energy state to higher energy state by gathering the energy from some source in this case the source is light quanta and it go to the higher energetic state now from this higher energetic state where we are having uh, the il highest electronegative reduction potential uh, it will transfer the electron from one to another and another to another and that's the way from this to bacteria chlorophyll then finally the another protein molecule now this is the protein molecule I am going to show you and I am highlighting because this is something which is unique in case of this green bacteria now you, you have seen that in case of purple bacteria in this place we are having quinones and quinone pools and all these molecules in this case of green bacteria we are also having this quinone molecules but instead of quinone A and quinone B and bacteriophiophytin we are having this iron sulfur containing cluster or iron sulfur cluster containing proteins okay now uh, this iron sulfur cluster containing proteins are uh, having the reduction potential value uh, my, minus 0 0.5 that means the uh, electronegative value for the reduction potential so they can reduce other things now one thing you should notice in this case very very carefully is that as their value of e reduction potential is minus of 0 0.5 and the reduction potential value for NAD plus is minus uh, minus 0.25 uh, that means this uh, this iron sulfur cluster containing proteins can actually transfer the electron from itself to NAD plus and it can convert NAD plus into remember NADH now in case of uh, purple bacteria what you have seen that in those case those proteins which are present are the proteins of uh, or quinone proteins or quinone pool proteins cannot uh, transfer the electron directly to the NAD plus because the reduction potential value is less uh, or it is get, it is uh, in, the, in the in the neutral region uh, which is slightly lower than the NAD plus so in those cases we have seen the reverse electron flow to occur and for that which uh, which was the energy demanding process and the energy will come from uh, in that case from uh, the proton motive force but in this case no reverse electron flow is seen so this is a very very important no reverse electron flow is seen in this case of green bacteria this is the difference between the green bacteria light reaction and uh, the purple bacteria light reaction okay now anyways now the electron then transfer from this protein to the quinones and then quinone to cytochrome B and then cytochrome C, B C1 then cytochrome C and this is C555 complex then finally to again returns to the P840 now you can see in this case also the donor of electron is H2S it could be S2O3 2 minus and the ultimate form because the oxidized form of sulfur is SO4 2 minus so ultimate form will be formed SO4 2 minus and the starting form begins with H2S which is the highest reduced form so the H2S can also provide electron and by providing the electron it will uh, made itself S uh, elemental sulfur 
Sometimes a H2O3 2 minus can also provide the electron in the same reaction uh, from the transfer of electron from cytochrome B to cytochrome C555 complex. And again, if it if SO2 H2O3 2 minus give the electron, then it will produce the SO4 2 minus. Okay, so so here um, they use sulfide ions, hydrogen or ferrous ions as the electron donors. As you can see here, this is the sulfide or hydrogen or ferrous ions can be used. And uh, and the process is mediated by the type one reaction center, and when the H2S donates the electron, as you can see in this picture, the H2S donates the electron to the to reduce this NAD plus to NADH. Uh, now this is very very important because it is providing the electron again in this case. So H2S is providing the electron to reduce NAD plus to NADH in green bacteria. Then those sulfur globules which are uh, being formed due to the uh, release or due to the oxidation of H2S to elemental sulfur. So this elemental sulfur can be stored and uh, they have to store this elemental sulfur and they store this elemental sulfur in the sulfur globules which remain outside of the cell of the, this green bacteria. Okay, so if we look at this green bacteria we can find the presence of this sulfur globules okay on the outside of the cell so this is all about the light reactions of the green bacteria and i hope it will help you thank you